Three of the Midlands' biggest landlords held a jobs fair in Worcester today, specifically aimed at helping their younger tenants find work. 70 people turned out for the event, which included skills workshops, as well as a chance to meet employers. The organisers say recent benefits changes, like the spare room subsidy, will mean some families will struggle to pay their rent unless they can get a job. Well, joining us now to tell us more about this is Claire Heighton from the Festival Housing Group, one of those who organised the event. So, Claire Heighton, you're obviously pretty worried about what benefits changes could mean for housing associations and your tenants then. Yeah, there's no doubt it's going to have a significant effect on us as an organisation and on our tenants, on the families and the, and the people who live in our property. And we're worried about it, but more than anything, our tenants are worried about it. And what did those young people taking part say they got out of today? What did they learn? I mean, today was much more obviously about building basic skills and making them feel more equipped to apply for, for jobs. But, but the biggest issue with many of our young people is a lack of confidence in their ability to get an interview, in their ability to actually get a job, partly because of lack of experience. And what about, we heard about young people taking part in today's events, but what about older people, people in their 40s or 50s? Is there help out there for them? And this is, is this another group you'd like to reach out to? Yeah, we would do. I mean, we've tended to focus, over the last year or so, we've tended to focus our efforts on younger people. But um, we do want to look at the needs of older people, particularly, you know, the over 50s where people have been made redundant and, you know, from a trade and whether we can help, you know, get them back in either by supporting them with retraining or getting them back into, you know, employment in, a, in another area. And is this something you need to do as a housing association? Surely, you know, the job centre can help these people. I think that's true that the job centre you know, do, a, do a good job to help people but um, I think there's a lot of unemployed people out there and the job centre can't give you know, individual help and the mentoring and support and advice that we can, that we can give. So um, we're not legally obliged to do it but we do feel you know, a strong moral obligation to do something to help our tenants cope with unemployment and cope with um, you know, the welfare reforms that are coming their way. Claire Hyten from the Festival Housing Group, thank you very much indeed. Now, one of the